Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim, how are you doing? First up, several European retailers leaked Intel 11th generation desktop CPU prices. For my viewers in the USA, I want to add that electronic goods prices in Europe are higher than what you have in the US. But, from what I can see here, Intel are not keen to price their CPUs lower than the previous generation. If this is true, then I suspect they will have a hard time competing against AMD this year. After all, it appears that 11th generation is not much better than 10th gen in gaming. A qualification sample of i9-11900K was tested versus 10900K in several games. And 11900K did not claim the gaming crown. They were trading blows. So, it does not look good if you are looking forward to building a new high-end Intel gaming PC in hopes of getting the best FPS. I think that the only way for Intel to stay competitive is to price their CPUs more aggressively. By that, I mean offering them at lower prices than competing AMD offerings. There is still hope that it may happen, because things are about to change over at Intel HQ. Current CEO Bob Swan is stepping down on February 15th to make way for someone who has a good chance of becoming the one for Intel. I'm talking about Pat Gelsinger. He has the right experience and skills to make Intel competitive in the CPU market again. In other news, MSI and Asus have revealed their Z590 motherboard lineup and prices. MSI boards will range from 185 to 999 euros. Asus boards will start at 189 euros, with the most expensive model costing 1516 euros. The most expensive model is designed in collaboration with AK Waterblocks. It does look good, I'll give it that. DisplayPort 2.0 is coming to monitors later this year. It is great news for professionals and gamers who like having the cutting-edge tech on their desks. It will support up to 8K 85Hz or 4K 240Hz displays. However, the bad news is that currently no hardware on the market supports DisplayPort 2.0, so it is likely that we will have to wait until the next generation AMD and Nvidia graphics cards arrive, which is not likely to happen until the next year. One of the leading ARM chip makers, Qualcomm, is working on a chip for ultra-thin laptops that will rival Apple's M1. The report says that the company is now testing this new chip in two 14-inch laptops. One with 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM and the other with 32GB of LPDDR4X. Snapdragon X55 modem is also present in these test machines providing 5G connectivity. Previous Qualcomm ARM chip did not do so well inside Windows 10 Microsoft Surface device in terms of sales numbers. However, it was more down to the fact that most Windows apps could not run on it, rendering the device useless for most users. Sadly, Microsoft did not bother to do anything about it, even though Surface is their product. Maybe this time Qualcomm can try to make a deal with Google and put their new chip in Chromebooks instead. In collaboration with Android, it would have the potential to become a great ecosystem that would be able to rival Apple in several years from now. As an Apple user, I would love to see that happen. Competition always brings awesome new products and services to the market. But at the moment, Apple stands unchallenged when it comes to connecting all your devices into one comfortable ecosystem that works seamlessly. This topic deserves a video of its own, so I will stop here. If you are new around here, subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.